Hey guys, good morning. Once again, it's time for our weekly updates from the 815. But today I'm going to do something different. Today I'm going to show you something that's a little bit personal to me. So if you remember two weeks ago, we asked all of y'all uh, to take pictures and to share with us your photos of your own home altars or the altars that you built your home while going through this uh, stay at home guidelines from our state. And so today I'm going to show you my own little home altar. Um, which I have set up here in the sitting room of my own bedroom in the rectory. So um, growing up, I've always uh, grown accustomed to having an altar at our home. I think it's part of our culture as Filipinos that we always establish or create an altar at our own homes. And so I kind of, <laughs> I guess I inherited that uh, legacy from my family and so uh, wherever I am assigned I always try to establish a little altar in my own home or in my own room uh, to just kind of help me to have a, a little space to pray uh, to be away from uh, the crowds away from um, the hustle and bustle of what's going on around and just be able to sit there with our Lord so um, so I'm going to show you what my little altar looks like here at the rectory at St. Genevieve and um, I know it's nothing much, but um, to let you all know that uh, in this little altar, I pray for you all. I lift up all of y'all's intentions and um, I join you all in your own little prayers as well. So uh, this is what my altar will look like. So here's my altar. Um, as you will see, there is a framed photo of Saints Peter and Paul. Uh, carrying the church, uh, St. Peter because he is the Prince of the Apostles and the first Pope, and St. Paul because I was named after St. Paul. So both of them uh, are the foundations of the church, and so this is a great gift from somebody that I truly appreciate and love. So uh, it's here in shrine of my altar. You can also see St. Joseph and Our Blessed Lady in her title, Our Lady of Guadalupe. Then there's also a statue of the Sleeping Joseph. There is a tradition that um, whenever you put intentions under the statue of, our, of uh, the sleeping St. Joseph, that St. Joseph is going to pray for you all and uh, intercede for you and bring those intentions to the Lord. So as you can see, um, you, know, you have little points here because as you know, for me, Christmas is something that happens all year round. So, um, so that's what my altar looks like. And then on the wall above the altar, uh, you will have here, of course, the crucifix, and then um, an icon of the Sacred Heart, and an icon of St. Genevieve, our patroness here at uh, this parish. Um, you've met her uh, last week in my video, and now here she is once again. Um, to the right of my altar is also a portrait of the Sacred Heart, the Burning Heart of our Lord Jesus. Again, just a reminder that the priestly heart should always be conformed to the sacred heart of our Lord. And then to the left of my altar is uh, a wonderful image of our Blessed Lady. Um, this was also a gift given to me during my ordination, so I treasured it and it's here. Um, you know, Our Lady always guiding me through these trying times as well. So. This is what my uh, little home altar looks like, where sometimes, you know, if I just want to pray in silence or especially at night, uh, say my night prayers, this is where it all happens. So that's what my little um, home altar looks like. And as I've said, that's where sometimes I say my prayers. Uh, we do have a an adoration chapel here in the rectory for us to pray and sometimes celebrate Mass privately whenever... Uh, one of us is not scheduled for the live streaming Mass with y'all. That's where we celebrate our Mass, and I will show that to you another time. But uh, aside from that, here in my sitting room uh, is my little altar. Um, so I hope you enjoy that little uh, demonstration of what my home altar looks like. And I hope it can also inspire y'all, especially for those who don't have altars, to maybe create one, especially this uh, Holy Week, you know, um, we will not be able to gather together at the altar of the church for the celebration of the Easter Triduum, but we can always join ourselves together in spiritual communion, in our prayers, and in our own little adorations in our own home altars. Uh, so speaking of the Triduum, I've already posted our 
uh, schedule for the Easter Triduum. So hopefully um, you'll be able to follow us on that. Live, everything is going to be live stream. Uh, we have confession schedules as well. So um, let us continue to pray for each other. Let's continue to pray for our parish. Let us continue to pray for our bishop, um, my brother priest, our community, and our state and the world in general, um, especially invoking the intercession and help of Our Lady of Guadalupe. So thank you very much. Uh, have a blessed Holy Week and a happy Easter. And I'll see you again next week for our Easter update. God bless.